ball is in the Tottenham defence. Edward in the middle with an early opportunity, maybe. Gets his shot to a What's going on everybody? Blue here coming at you with another FIFA 22 video. I said I was going to try new things. I said I was going to experiment. So here I am experimenting. I have no idea what I'm doing with this. Um, as far as I hope you guys like that intro. My first little try at like a custom little created intro. Um, but today it's all about business. We are here to talk about the brand new release of record breaker Odson Edouard. The Premier League striker for Crystal Palace. He scored a goal after coming on the pitch in 28 seconds. So he gets a record for the fastest uh, goal ever scored. I, I don't know if it's his first goal, but fastest goal ever scored when joining a pitch um, at, at 28 seconds. And it might be the first goal he's ever scored. Um, and he, he went on to get two goals in that game, um, as you heard in the uh, in the sound clips in the intro. What kind of card are we getting? Well, we are getting a 91 pace, pretty pacey guy with decent shooting at 84 shooting, 80 passing, 89 dribbling, which is going to be his biggest uh, strength. Um, he's a four-star, four-star, high medium, which is really good for um, for a striker. He's six foot two. Um, I do not know what kind of body, body type he has, but I can check that out right away. So he's got a high and average body type. Um, to go along with that six foot two frame, uh, which is which is quite nice for for dribbling around. Um, obviously, for his owner, plays for Crystal Palace. Uh, he's a French player. Let's get into the attributes. So it's a pretty true uh, pace. So it's a ninety two pace, ninety uh, sprint speed. His shooting is um, attack position. He's got eighty three. He's got eighty nine finishing. Eighty four shot power. His long shots aren't that nice, but his penalties are quite nice as well. He's got really good vision. He's got pretty decent short passing at 86. Um, and you're going to see, as you guys know, I run generally run a 4 triple 2 or a 4 2 three, one. Uh, But in a 4 triple 2 he's actually a decent striker to have as a secondary striker with another one whose passing isn't as good or, and, and might be slightly faster. Um, and he's got free kick accuracy at 92 with 90 curve. So he is going to be a free kick demon as well. Uh, his dribbling is where everything goes right for him except for reactions. But everything else is is in the 90s. 91 agility, 95 balance, 90 dribbling, 92 composure, man. It's just absolutely insane card on face value. Um, his heading accuracy and his jumping are good. 88 and 82 respectively. He's got really good stamina, 86. He's got great strength at 92 strength. And... Um, he's got pretty uh, low aggression, however, so uh, we'll have to see how that that works works into his uh, in his style into his gameplay. But I do think he's going to boss some people around, um, or at least he won't get bossed around too too much with that high strength and high balance. Um, we're looking for. I have him on a basic. I want to use him in the first game on a basic, and then the other two games. So we're going to play three games with him. Uh, I want to use him basic for one game, and then we're gonna we're we're gonna play. Uh, a chem style on him. Most likely, I'm going to try um, a hawk, um, or or maybe a hunter. I'm not 100 percent sure yet, but I think we go with hawk to get the aggression up a little bit. Um, but we will see from there. Now, you ask yourself, what kind of team do you play around here? And trust me, I thought about this for a little bit um, while I was working today. I was kind of thinking in my mind, what kind of team am I going to play around him? I'm an idiot on this. I've neglected my main account. It's no longer my main account. The first owner account's my main account, but. Um, I neglected to do the Zaha SBC. So I do not have a Zaha to put to his left, which would have been the perfect pairing. I know. Blue's an idiot. However, I think I got something just a little bit crispier. Just a little bit more special for you guys. I thought to myself, I started thinking to myself, what about all the other French players that play in the Premiership? 
Um, can we sprinkle a few of those around? And then I went to myself and I said, you know what? Let's just sprinkle a whole bunch of fun cards um, that are all French. The entire bench is French. The entire team is French. Let's take a look at the team right now. Boom. There you have it. Edouard is going to be playing alongside his French counterpart, Kylian Mbappé. On the left side, we're going to have a Arsenal legend, another Frenchman who played in the Premier League, in Thierry Ari. That's his mid card. Um, on the right side, he's not going to play on the right side. He's going to play as a DM. But we are going to have another Frenchman who played in the Premiership uh, in, in the BPL, which is uh, Makalele. In the middle, we are going to have, uh, alongside Makalele, this Diallo. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the hell are you doing with this Diallo silver objective card that we got for, for doing the uh, the Winter Wild Card token stuff? If you guys take a look at this card with a shadow on, 98 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, 90 stand tackling, 94 slide tackling, 90, uh, 86 defensive awareness, with 93 interceptions. He's got 88 stamina, 87 aggression. His dribbling is so-so, is, is but his balance is really good. His passing, 91 short passing with 92 long passing. He is going to be a stay-at-home CDM for us. He's just going to feed our outside wingers, or he's going to he's gonna put an over-the-top ball, hopefully, to our boy Edward over here. Um, and then alongside uh, Makalele, who's obviously his defensive stats aren't as good as um, as his, uh, but the dribbling is a little bit better, uh, and he's still got pretty decent short passing. Uh, so we we went ahead and put a shadow on him, and you 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 know you get your 84 and all that off him. On the back line, another Frenchman who played in the Premiership, another legend of the game. Um, this is one of our base icon polls. Um, Edouard Petit. Edouard Petit. Emmanuel Petit. Edouard is the player that we're, we're featuring. So Emmanuel Petit is going to play on left back. I play him left back usually. Um, and then we went and I play usually my uh, my Jonathan Klaus, Raphael Varane, uh, Dayot Upamecano are going to join the back end. So Raphael Varane, another Frenchman playing in the Premier League. So I tried to sprinkle French guys who played in the who play in the Prem or played in the Prem. Uh, around our, our, our Diallo. And then uh, the best goalkeeper in this game. Now, we pulled this keeper as a red on the first owner squad, and I've played some games with him since. This guy is unreal, and I put a wall on him um, just, to be, uh, just to be extra cheeky about it. Um, and then off the bench, we're going to have our usual Frenchmans, uh, Nkuku, Fakir, Benzema, Hernandez, Dembele, Diaby, Martial. These are just guys I had lying around in the club. I didn't go buy anybody for this. Uh, I did buy every, almost everybody else, though. He's he's purchased. Uh, we we paid 700k for him. We paid 150k for him. Um, these are obviously objective and SBC, but we went out and bought him for 70k. We went out and bought him for 60k. Uh, we went out and bought him for for about 15k. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into the games. Game number one. Allez. Now I think we should preface that I'm going to be playing players that are normally in elite. <laughs> Um, I haven't played any any uh, any games yet, so I'm in Division Two. I'm normally in Elite on this account, so I'm taking this team in for a ride. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm kind of looking forward to see how that Diallo card holds 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 his own. Got our defense going right off the bat. All right, up to Makalele. Makalele feeds Awar. Awar back to Jonathan Klaus. I am absolutely getting getting destroyed as far as pressure goes. All right, here we go. Edward first, first, first handles with Edward. Kind of silky. Appetit, right, come on now. Henri. Henri, play back. We're going to be playing in the 4 triple 2 here. Over to Henry. Odiallo. 
can, can feed him with Diallo. Makalele, that's not bad, man. Diallo, nicely done. There we go. We're sending on Ray. Let's check out Edwards. Ariel. Ooh, a little bit too far. Over to Diallo. Diallo pings it in for Edward. Oh, just missed it. I don't know if it's the connection, but he does seem a little sluggish off the bat. His positioning is just slightly off. I don't know if Diallo missed that pass. I wish I, I, I wish I would have a little bit more. Team it in. Nice pass, Mbappe. Over to Edward. Edward got to finish. Let's go. Nice pa Look at Diallo's passes, man. What the fuck? Maurice? I mean, uh, Edward? Maurice. <laughs> what the fuck is Maurice? I heard him say Claude before, and I have Claude Maurice in my head for some reason. Another Frenchman. Come on, Mac. Seventy-four rated Diallo. This is, is handling the uh, seventy-four rated Diallo is handling the pitch. Seventy-four rated Diallo is controlling the middle of the, of the middle of the pitch on this guy. A little bit of pace gets away. Diallo, Eduard, over to. Oh, let's go. Ah, couldn't couldn't quite. Oh, there's that strength and balance right there. There's that strength and balance right there. That's a really good. That's a really good moment for him. But he's got to finish that. Yalo, make a move. You're not getting it in on the font, man. You're not getting it in. I'm, I'm giving him, I'm giving him those, those deep. Uh, I'm giving him those deep. That's Edward making moves. Right there. Henri makes the run of dreams. Henri, let's go. Oh, Thierry Henry making the run of dreams right there. Try and catch him with the cheese. Well, 2 nothing victory. I mean, not not spectacular in any way, shape, or form. I don't know what, what level you guys play at, but this this is very much that grit and claw that I feel uh, when, when you approach the elite uh, ranks. So I'm, I'm guessing there's still some people that, that, that haven't been playing and that are still going to be uh, trying to get to their elite um so that's what that felt like there but you know we come on top with the team um edward picking up a goal he felt good on the goal it was a quick turn and he and he closed out nicely and Thierry Henry making a ridiculous run but guys i'm, I'm gonna tell you something the and and rightfully so he's he along with lafont who's got a 7.7 .7 rating this diallo card what the fuck this Diallo card feels really, really... He is not a 74 rated card, just so we're clear. I think EA kept him at 74 rating so that he would qualify to play as a silver card. But if you look at his stats, he's beyond. He's well beyond a, a, a 74 rated. I'm, I'm actually very curious as to who he compares with the most. So this basically just turned into a, a, Diallo, um, a Diallo review as well. You guys got a really good team. Just checking out Hello, quickly, everyone, I want to know what body type. He's got the lean body type, the Diallo as well. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to play this in the 4 triple 2 again and we'll see. Oh, uh, now he feels a little... Oh yeah, now he feels peppier. Now he feels a little bit peppier.
Finish. I would have liked him to finish out on the first time, but do you, did you see the way he grabbed that ball and just spun out from in between two players? Are you kidding me, dude? Ah! I didn't quite get like the, the control of where we were going with that left stick dribble yet. That's on me. That's not on him. Well, I just got to make this run out here. There's that LaFont. This guy just absolutely annihilated me with his messy. Henry. What? What was that? LaFont saves me again. I have no idea what that was. I don't. I do not know why he turned 180 and, and launched it back towards my keeper. Couldn't get a hand. Uh, uh. Ooh, nice try. Really good left stick dribbling. Really nice left stick dribbling. Too bad, because he made the original save. I'm having a hard time on the break. My defense is uh, my defense is, is is out to lunch most of the time. Come on, Diallo! Look at that run! Look at that run! Where's Edward, man? Oh, was he offside? He was. Little run by Henri. Tell you where Henri shines. Oh. I thought he was going to put that in. I'll tell you where Henri shines is making those runs. Understanding understanding that positioning. Uh, Edward is always nowhere to be found. I don't know why he's 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 halfway up the pitch all the time. So I'm going to put an instruction on I don't have it. I have a comeback on defense for him. I'm going to put a stay forward on defense for him. Now, normally on a 4 triple 2 you want your strikers to come back down into the middle. To give uh to give options to run but i'd like to see him be up top more and, and get a run going or two we are trying to highlight him um he just seems to not be able to find find his way so to, to, to spots keep the shape keep the shape keep the shape super important to keep the shape there you go that's how you keep the shape and you go Doesn't beat him. Doesn't beat him, Marquinhos. Doesn't have enough of the. Uh... That's bad. You gotta finish that. You gotta finish that. And it, that was that was red time too. It almost went in. Get the head. God, nothing. Nothing. He's not really good at giving head. GG. 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 Very dead. Very dead up front. Like, just, just feels dead up front. I'm going to go back to the 4 2 3 1 for the last game. Um, but as of right now, I mean, this. I, he's he's not a complete. At, as of right now, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be completing this Edward card. He doesn't find the runs properly. He it takes him a while to figure out a lane. Um, oh man, look at that! Look at that fucking Ebra man. That's the dream. I'd love to play with that Ebra card. Hi everyone! It is an absolutely <clears throat> splendid day for football, and we're looking forward to the game. He doesn't find those runs. Is is basically what's happening. So we're gonna play in the four-two-three-one. Well 
know, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Lee Anderson's so good, too. We have him on the first one to go for. Mm, interesting. He's got that Daka, who a lot of people are comparing um, this card to. Oh, no. That was a foul. That's a little too cheeky for my liking. It's kind of insulting. Oh, Henri, baby. Woo wow. Let's go, baby. So I found the run for him that time. I found the run for him that time. But look at that Diallo pass is, is what I'm trying to say to you guys, man. Look at the passes that Diallo makes. That's that's what it is. Four two three one is is the is the is the is the formation for this squad. I might give it one more game. I know he said three. I might do a fourth just in case, just to get a, a real reading of it. Now again, I don't think had I not moved Edward into position myself. Oh my God, that's bad, Macaulay. Look at his turning, man. Just look at the way he could turn. Oh, we got a pen out of it. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta give it to him, right? Way to go, Diablo. Hidden gem. Hidden gem. If you haven't done that Silver Stars thing, look at Edward's pass, dude. What a fucking... Where did he come from, dude? Where did he come from? 4-2-3-1. That's what I'm telling you, man. 4-2-3-1. He's a, he's a guy in the 4-2-3-1. Let's check it out. Uh, just look at this pass from Diallo. You know what? We won't give it one more game. The rule is three. We're going to stick to three so that for all future ones, we don't start giving more games. But look at this Diallo card, guys. Just just, just look at this Diallo card. Look at the pass he makes. So I, I, I engage the run. As you can see, like, I would like Edward to be running into that center gap where Awar is already running. So I guess he reads that Awar is making that run. But, but he shouldn't be making that one run. Edwards should be making that center gap run so that he can get it. So now, I take control of him, and I just I just kind of make him go even wider, right? I just take control, I make him go wider, and then look at this ball Diallo puts into him. So this is, this is the through ball into space, just outside the reach, and right into the path I'm running. And then he's got a really nice finish here. Just a really nice chip ball finish. Really, really, really nice goal there. And then this, he's just dancing, right? Just, just dancing. Dance. Ball roll. This is R1 dribble. That's an R1 dribble move. And then left-footed. 
He's right footed. He's right footed. So this is a weak foot shot. Oh. This looks promising. It might be. Same same story. Just the same story. Look at his look at look at the the, the left stick turning on him. Here. Right back out there. Back in. Back in again. And then another left foot. There's another another weak foot shot that he scores on. Wow, man. That's going to do it for the episode, man. So I can't... I, I'm going to have a hard time <coughs> giving this with, with absolute certainty. Um, because I, I, I do feel that I cheated him on, on a few games by playing this in the 4 triple 2 and the team wasn't really um, performing in the 4 triple 2 It was very obvious that this team wanted to be played in a 4-2-3-1. If I had to put a value on this um, out of 10, I would say this is about a 6.5 or a 7 out of 10 um, as far as value goes. I don't I don't know if he's 130K and how long he's going to last. He, he didn't really make... Like, his attack positioning was felt. He didn't really make the best of runs. Um... But his finishing is 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 clinical when he gets the when he gets the chance. I do think I would put a hunter on him now, or um, something that, that boosts the pace even more. Yeah, I think I'd just take the pace all the way up to all the way up to a hundred, and and I'd like to see how he runs that. Um, but in the right hands, if you know how to left stick dribble, as you can see in that last game. So on the pitch performance, I'm going to go with like a seven and a half out of ten or an eight out of ten. Um, he's he's pretty good. He's got all the tools that you need to be able to finish, um, and his his four star weak foot, as you can see, he was 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 just right for him. Um, I didn't get to, to test him in the air that much, but at the end of the day, is this a complete? He's a complete if you have a lot of fodder, and you're looking for a prem striker that isn't the price of Obama Yang. Obama Yang is probably going to be one little step ahead of him. However, he's 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 a, he's a, he's twenty five percent of the price that Obama Yang is. So at 130k, um, I'd probably stay away from him unless you 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 need a prem striker and you're looking for that next level and you don't have the Ronaldo yet and you're not getting the Obama Yang and you're still running either like a uh, like a Timo Werner or or a Gabriel Jesus or whatever and you want to take that next step you want to take the plunge and you have enough fodder to be able to kind of like min mitigate that 130k cost. Um, I think he's about 130k pay on all platforms. Um, then I would do him. Other than that, he's not a guy who's uh, ahead of the power curve he's not a guy who's on the power curve um i would say he's complementary to the power curve he's he's not going to be um he's not going to be dominant for you but he was a lot of fun to use and he does score goals if you surround him really really well um i think he's going to do it for you i mean i obviously have him surrounded by awar Henri, mbappe that's good and and what i think is i think makalele let, let us down a little bit but this diallo card guys i think is where we're actually going to shine um, he's going in the title now. Uh, actual hidden gem Diallo. If you have not completed this Diallo, please complete him and try him. His passes are insane. And you are absolutely going to love him. For now, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the first video uh, that I do uh, when it comes to card reviews. If you want me to do more, let me know. Thumbs up down below. I'll do as many as I can. Again, I'm not putting money into this. And I'm not. I don't have that many coins to play around with. I lose coins every time I do this because I buy the players and, and, and then I go and sell them um, to play around them. Uh, so depending on what comes out next, if I'm if I'm able to do it, I probably won't do the high end stuff. But I like these middle of the rung 100K, 150K type of SBCs that I could just go complete really quick and then put them into uh, a team full of uh, full of full of players that I already have um, somewhat. For now, I'm out, man. Take care of each other and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.